Where is that little mutant? Kate, what are you going to do to Jess? I'm thinking of torturing her first, very slowly. Then I'll kill her. You two sisters fight more than any two sisters I know. Well, how would you feel if Whitney made up a poster with the words Simone loves Miguel in big bright letters on it? I'm not the one with the hots for Miguel. You are. And the last thing I want is for him to find out. You want him to find out sometime. Yes. But when I decide to make my move, not because Jessica broadcast it all over the carnival, it's just a good thing I caught Jessica with that poster and ripped it before Miguel saw it. I would have died of humiliation. There she is. You brat! Let go! You tell anyone I like Miguel, I swear. Why don't you tell him? He's right behind you. Liar. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Simone. Okay. Hey. I'm so glad you're here, Miguel. What's going on? Do you have something you want to tell me? I forgot, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. Well, I have to go set up the tables at the food stand. Can I help? Sure. You're welcome to help, too. My father's got us working on something else. OK, let's go. Why did you do that? Do what? Say we already had work to do. Because we do. I could have been with Miguel. Watching that gorgeous face, that incredible body, making sure that big mouth little sister of mine doesn't say anything. I swear, if she tells him, death will be too good for her. Let me get two of those, Miguel. Hey, Whitney. Go. Sure. You thirsty? One's for Teresa. Maybe it'll cool her down. What's she upset about? Oh, having to paint in her new dress. <sighs> Only my sister would get dressed up to work on the carnival. Mm. What boy is she trying to impress? You will not believe it. Ethan Crane. <laughs> Ethan Crane. The Ethan Crane? There is only one Ethan Crane I know of who is heir to the Crane billions. She never told me she met him. She hasn't, but she is positive she's going to. Uh, yeah, over my dead body. It's, it's only one of our sister's harmless fantasies, Louise. And that's all it's ever going to be, a fantasy. A fantasy. You see, there's no way that Teresa's ever going to meet Ethan Crane. I almost arrested Ethan Crane. What? You're kidding. No, and I would have too if our chief of police, Sam Bennett, hadn't ordered me not to. What did Ethan do? Well, I found him and his debutante girlfriend having a party at Dune Point, naked under a blanket. And that's why you were going to arrest him? No, they had a fire on the beach. That's illegal at Dune Point. So why didn't you just give him a fine? Because I didn't like his attitude. He and the rest of the damn Cranes think they own this town. Well, they don't own the beach or the ocean. I'll bet they do. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe you actually met Ethan Crane. <sighs> Teresa will not believe it when I tell her. Which Teresa's interested in him anyway? Well, you know Teresa. I mean, she's interested in everybody in those society magazines she reads. And that's the only place she's ever going to see him. Cranes don't mingle with peasants like us. Daddy. What do you want us to do now? <clears throat> Well, let me see what you can do now. Well, I could use some help finishing setting up my stand. There you go. All right, I'll be over in a little while. OK, uh, where's Jessica? Oh, that's what I'd like to know. Well, I want you to keep an eye on her. I have to go to work, and your mother, your mother has things on her mind. Well, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her, all right. My hands over her big mouth. Don't you think you're being a little hard on Ethan Crane? His family has made money off the poor this town for generations. They've provided a lot of jobs in Harmony. Why are you defending the Cranes? I'm not. It's just Ethan seemed OK when I met him. You met Ethan Crane? When? At the Crane Mansion. It was a few years ago. Mama took me there on a day off to pick up her paycheck. <laughs> what little they pay her. That's right. Your mother's worked for the Cranes for a long time, hasn't she? She's their housekeeper. Big title for a lot of work and no real money. So what was Ethan like? He seemed like a regular guy. You know, it's funny. I'm surprised their family let you associate with the little prince. No telling what diseases the lower classes might carry. In fact, I remember feeling sorry for him, all alone in that big house. Oh, all alone with those servants to wait on him hand and foot. It's not the same as family. He hasn't spent much time in Harmony, has he? No. He was away at boarding schools when he was a kid. See? Public school was beneath him. What do you have against him anyway? Well, let's just say when something goes wrong in Harmony, there's usually a crane behind it. I 
can't believe you're going to arrest Ethan Crane. Why? He's not above the law. All he did was make a fire on the beach. Yeah, well, I didn't like his attitude. And anyway, building a fire on the dune is against the law. Oh, like when you were in high school, you didn't build fires out there for you and your girlfriends? Uh, Ethan Crane's not in high school. Was Ethan with someone? What do you say, a little one-on-one, -on -one, bro? Great, if you're in a losing mood. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> Luis, was Ethan with someone? Yeah, some blonde. Was her name Gwen Hotchkiss? Sounds familiar. You ready, bro? The question is, are you ready? Did you hear that, Whitney? I heard. I just know she's gonna trap him into marrying her. Why do you care who Ethan marries? Why do you care about any of those cranes? I think they're glamorous. They're bloodsuckers, taking advantage of everyone. That's not true. Look at this. The cranes at a charity ball. And this, a charity fundraiser for the hospital. They give away lots of money. Teresa, why do you waste your time obsessing over people who you don't even know, who you're never going to know? I could. Oh, no. Because as of tomorrow, you're not going to have time to meet anyone. Except maybe customers at the Burger Hut. What? I got you a summer job at the Burger Hut. You're starting tomorrow, morning shift. <laughs> me work at the Burger Hut? Don't make me laugh. Teresa, you need to save money for college. I'll find a job myself. And what kind of job would that be? Because last time I checked, they're not hiring princesses in Harmony, at least that I know of. I'm not going to work at the Burger Hut. My hair will reek of grease. That's what shampoo's for. Be there tomorrow, 8 o'clock sharp. Come on, let's go, Miguel. Where are you, Ethan? Take me away from all of this.